All right, so all you Wayu and Bima users out there for the Poco X3 Pro, we have a new update. We made a video about MIUI 12.5.5 yesterday, which is the Indian update, but a lot of global users got MIUI 12.5.7. Now, there are a few things that I discovered what happens when you flash Wayu's ROM on Bima. Very small things, one thing rather. I will discuss that, but what I did is I flashed Xiaomi.eu this morning. I experienced the ROM because I'm sort of fed up of how Poco is delivering their updates in India and globally because there are a lot of things that this team or other custom ROMs like MIUI Mix are doing right and we will talk about that in this particular review. So this is a quick review of Xiaomi.eu stable MIUI 12.5.7 for YU and Bima. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And remember, it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1300 people to give you all the help there. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Karash. Let's review this one. All right, so we have Xiaomi.eu 12.5.7 over here. RJUMIXM. 1st of December updated. Check out the differences and stuff over here. No changelog mentioned. You'll have to go to their website to check the changelog. Now, remember, this will be a short video. It will not be a very, very long video, but it matters. The first thing that I'd like to address is the elephant in the house. Does this stop you from breaking your device? Very, very important question. I don't really have a clear answer. Initially, there was news that bricking is happening because of MIUI 12.5 ROMs or 12.5 firmware. So people moved to 12.0.4. Now people have been reporting to me that even on MIUI 12, they are getting brick. So at this point, I have been trying all sorts of ROMs because this is not my personal device. My personal device is the iPhone 12. And uh, I like experimenting so that I can give you guys the news. You don't break your personal device, right? So I've not had any breaking or that screen flickering issues so far in this particular update or yesterday's 12.5.5, but take everything with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying that 12.5 is safe. If you flash 12.5, it is completely up to you. And there should not be a lot of fuss about it. Even if you break your device, you are covered under warranty. This is a device which is not launched less than a year ago. So yeah, it's very, very new and you should be covered under warranty. Anyways, let's get back, get back to the review. Let's go to settings over here. Let's go to my device. Currently installed MIUI 12.5.7. What's new? No info available. That's a little weird for Xiaomi.eu. They always make sure that they go ahead and include the update. Now the first notable feature of course in this particular update as well that you will experience is in additional settings, you do have memory extension, right? So if you have a six gigabyte RAM variant, you will get two gigabytes of memory. If you have a eight gigabyte RAM variant device, you will get three gigabytes. So uh, as my fellow YouTuber Manchi said, this looks like a gimmick because I did not experience any major smoothness improvement or benchmark numbers improvement or multitasking improvements. It will reserve two gigabytes of your internal storage, which is UFS, so ultra fast storage. Technically, it can work as RAM. So I don't know you have the clear speaker option which has been there since MIUI 12. Now one highlight over here, my device is a Bima. I flashed MIUI 12.5.7 stock and I flashed this ROM as well. I'm missing the battery and performance toggle over here for some reason. So I tried all sorts of things of clearing the battery and performance data, clearing the data of settings applications, nothing worked. So anyways, let's, let's actually go to security over here and let's see what security version we are running. So we are running 5.5.1-2. So it's one of the latest versions, but the game turbo that you get over here is not the new game turbo. So for example, if I were to launch say Antutu benchmark over here, it will boost this and let's, let's, yeah, that's the score. We'll talk about that. Yeah, this is not your new game turbo. You have voice changer and all these th things working absolutely fine. Your screen recorder works absolutely fine. Now the highlight about this particular update is even in Xiaomi.eu, which is usually smooth, I found this to be better in terms of smoothness, to be very, very honest. On the 120 Hz mode, the Google feed in Xiaomi.eu is doing great. See, Poco team, y'all can do this. Very, very simple. Not only this, look at the app icon animations. There you go. 
So these are not complete like some other devices, but they are there. These are beautiful app icon animations. They work absolutely fine. You have your action center, which is still the same or control center, whatever you want to call it. If you press and hold on the home screen, you now get the MIUI 13 system launcher, which is really, really neat. If you go to more and you see over here, you get global app icon animations. You do have the horizontal vertical recents. You have Google discover to the left. So all these features are present and they are working absolutely fine. As you can see over here, we can arrange the recents horizontally as well. But the thing here is that in camera application, you will not find any new features. And if you go ahead and go to the multitasking menu over here, you have your floating windows, which are working absolutely fine as always. Your multitasking is working absolutely fine. You can manage applications and all the other things. If you press and hold this, you can lock you can have a floating window of all sorts and all those things are present and they are working absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and get rid of this floating window over here, right? So if you ask me, what did Poco or Xiaomi change in this particular update? Well, they've not done a whole lot. Yes, 120 Hertz works better now, but let me show you this. I might be wrong though, but if I take you to developer options and we enable this particular feature of uh, show refresh rate, now I noticed this in yesterday's video as well. Even if I go to say a browser, which is Google Chrome, there is no place, for example, even the Play Store, there is no 60 Hertz mode that I see. It is always 120 Hertz, which is really, really weird. And it is sticking to 120 Hertz. Now understand this is a device which has a 5,000 milliamp hour cell. So in that probability, this is fine. You won't have an issue because if you talk about the battery life, that is rock solid as always on stock ROMs for the POCO X3 Pro. So if you go to settings over here and you go to battery and performance, you do see that I've been using this device for about five to six hours. We have 33 minutes of screen on time and we still have around 92% of battery. We've ran the benchmarks and all those things and that's absolutely fine. So to sum it up real quick, before giving you the benchmark numbers, this is a good update. You should go ahead and try it, but if you are on your own, right? Now let's talk about the benchmark numbers real quick, which will take us to the gallery application. Remember, I do cool the device every time I run a benchmark. So 752 single core, 2737 multi-core, decent scores there. So let's talk about the entry to benchmark over here. 575,120 at about same ballpark where you usually have these updates or these numbers. So all in all, MIUI 12.5.7, Xiaomi.eu or the stock room, they're doing a great job. EU is doing a better job because you don't have that much lag. It works better and you have sort of a de-bloated de UI. So go ahead and update it if you're not scared to be on 12.5.7. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular update. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.